Attention to all potential radio listeners. If you're a fan of Sex in the City, this program is not for you. <laughs> Go away. Nothing to see here. Go away. Nothing to see here. Or if you're a cast member. <laughs> yeah. You might not want... Or if you're a cast member's husband who was in a real cool movie back in the 80s. Um, don't <laughs> listen. <laughs> we think Sex in the City sucks. A lot of coverage. A lot of coverage. That's I, we didn't even prepare for our radio show today. Mm. And you know, we we like to joke and say, "Ah, oh, we we don't prepare. We just come in and you know, we just make it up as we go along." Wing it. But uh, yeah, no, we really do prepare for this radio show. We work our asses off. Uh, but today in the office for the whole hour, we were obsessed with finding pictures of the Sex in the City crew. The big premiere uh, in, happening in in London. Oh, it was London. Yeah. Why didn't they have it in New York? I mean, the whole freaking movie's based on New York based City. Based in New York. We had to sit through uh, tra traffic where they closed down streets uh, to film this stupid show, a movie about the show. Yeah. And um, they had the premiere in London. Not that I even care. But uh, apparently they're doing that. And then no, it's we do be care. In Germany. We care for, and then for different reasons. Yeah. No, we, ca we care. Believe me. Yes. We do care. So we... Uh, we but... We've been collecting oh. all the Sex in the City photographs from the newspapers today. Can't get enough. There's a there's a bunch of doozies. I the first thing I said when I walked in, uh, I opened up the newspaper and I said, "Is this a joke? Is the Sex in the City movie a joke? Because it's these are four hags, hags that are trying to pull off this sexy image." Well, I'd say three out of four of that. Kristen uh, Davis. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe what? I'm going to start talking what? like one of these broads. Is that Kristen You Davis? got your tickets yet? Did you, <laughs> did you go to Fandango there, Opie, and order them in advance? <laughs> it's tough to say that Kristen Davis is a hag. She's uh, she's I the dark-haired one? Yeah, I think she's... Uh, right, she's probably the best out of the lot. I think she's a bit youthful. But this, uh, this freaking Sarah Jessica Parker, she hasn't been a sex symbol since L.A. Story. Will you stop... <laughs> Stop with the Sarah Jessica Parker being a sex symbol. She hasn't She's been a sex symbol since that TV show she was on. Which one was that? <laughs> that old? Oh, the wow! You're going way back. <laughs> was it Silver Spoons? Or no, something? it was what something like was that. Because that, that's the name that popped into my head. I can't remember what the hell it was. Well, Sarah Jessica Parker, she wore an acorn on her head for the premiere in London. Yeah, it can only be described as a green acorn cap. It's an acorn cap, and then it's got like branches and butterflies on it. Yeah, and. Man, they caught her on a side view, and this, this, wow, she looks like Ruth Buzzy. I know I've been saying that for years and totally. years and years, but look at that picture. That's Ruth Buzzy from laughing. Yeah, she looks like Ruth Buzzy. In a dress, in a in a nice dress. And then she wears this, this dress, she's supposed to look sexy and everything, and there's back fat flab, or whatever it is. Because she's not fat. It's loose skin. It's Is it loose skin? It's just loose skin. Yeah, because she's not fat. She's a tiny little thing, but uh, this, the skin is losing its uh, yes. its bounce back. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's snap back. It's snapping. It ain't snapping back. No. Uh, so, yeah, she uh, she's all over the place, her pictures, but none, none as horrific as Samantha herself, Kim Cattrall. I'm pushing 60, but I'm... <laughs> but I'm on the hunt. Ugh. This song makes me mad. <laughs> I can't listen to this and not get angered. I, I, I don't know anyone who watched this show. Um, I never watched it. But it was all, you couldn't watch anything else on HBO without it, it just invading your, your privacy. Right. Like you watch, watch, I want to watch Sopranos or something, and on the next Sex in the City, oh, Samantha's going to be banging 20 guys. <laughs> right. Wow. Because they're all after her. Because she's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I to believe that? Well, uh, no. She is so past cougar. She's a puma. <laughs> it's, What's it's a puma? Just, I don't know. It's, it's like an old cougar. I, it's just a, me, a mangy, a mangy yeah, cougar. Just a mangy old has to be put down cougar. She, there's pictures of her now. How long, when did Sex and the City first air on HBO? 
Dude, we were at NEW, so... Yeah, it, it had to be... I mean, 10 years ago. Like, 10 years ago. Well, yeah, because Gary Wall was a big fan back in the day. Was he? Oh, yeah, he actually... 98. In one of 10 our, years. In one of our um, uh, sessions with him, he said, you guys should watch Sex in the City, because it gives you a nice little overview of what New York's all about. No, it doesn't! Because the, the girls are out and about... Are they? They're hanging at all the hot spots in New York City. Sure they are. And all the landmarks. It would be good for your show because it would give you just a good variety of what this city's all about. And it's just guys are all over them all the time. <laughs> right. Oh, they don't know how to keep it away from them. Kim Cattrall was what? I guess 41 or something like that when the show first started. And that's pushing it. I'm and sorry. And that, that's... Well, as far as being, look, let's be realistic. For a show as far as a TV show. That's called Sex in the City. That's Sex in the City, and it's supposed to be like, you know, attractive, hot women that are out and about and whatever. Uh, yeah, that's pushing it on yeah. television. Yeah. It's 10 years later. Yeah. She's 51 years old. <laughs> Well, she's she's admitting to 51. admitting to fifty one. She's fifty flirt. That means she was ten in Porky's. <laughs> she's got a little fifty flirt going on. It's fifty flirt. It is Hollywood. Come on, she's gonna admit to fifty one. Is that brave to admit yeah. that you're fifty one? How short from fifty one is sixty nine? Wait a minute. I owe you eighteen. Oh, din 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 din. Shut up. Ugh. Oh, I had, a, uh, I had to do it. So she's like fifty flirt. And uh, she looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's just not... And look, I'm not saying she can't do movies or, or television or that, that uh, a certain gentleman don't find her attractive. Yeah. But in this situation, in this situation where it's supposed to be, she's Samantha the sex crazed, ooh, one of the foursome. Boy, I wonder how many... How many guys she's going to bang in the movie? Do you honestly think this broad is going to be at some Manhattan hotspot and have guys just fawning over her? Yeah. If it's she's a, got wacky eye if, if it's that an, they get from facelifts. If it's an Ethiopian bar, sure. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's oh, and a, when was that from? That was, uh, was from like 1986? No, that's 2003. Well, she's got the small boobies. So she's got they don't, the, you know, they don't have uh, as... as She's As nice, many problems. Nice rack, though. No, nice there's not. She looks square. Her boobies are square. Boobies, listen to me. Speaking of square, they're, they're, plump. they're square. And um, see, look what you did. I don't like her. You shut down the show by showing us nudity. We're just, uh, we're on a no. we're on a rant about this Sex in the City movie that premiered in London, and then you got uh, and then you got the the other one that isn't. She's a lesbian, so the lesbian? now, so you can't even look at her anymore. She, <laughs> she's like, she, her her girlfriend or wife or whatever is more manly than Steve. And she's in this Sex and yes. the City movie making money she likes much. men. <laughs> and then, and then they... Gay? Which one's gay? I, I, mean, I don't know anything about these people. Cynthia Nixon oh, came okay. out of the closet a few years back, and she's got a very, very, very butchy... Uh, oh, yeah. She's the, other. she's the girl in that relationship. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Her her uh, significant other likes to wear those Nantucket sweatshirts, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and she's got Oof. that. She's got the the, the safe hair, the Cause, mullet, because it's easy to take care of. You know, in the morning when you're <laughs> out and about doing your thing. Of course. And, and then Vogue, uh, dude, this is all we're obsessed with oh, today. God. We we don't even know what's going on. I think there's like twenty thousand people dead in China. Whatever. We, we well, all we're looking for is sex in the city. Sex in the city. And then Vogue has uh, Sarah Jessica Parker on the uh, the cover of their magazine. And uh, listen to what the Daily News writes. It's Carrie and Big like you've never seen them before. Legendary photographer Annie Leibovitz steams up. <laughs> She's steaming up, all right. Steams up the June issue of Vogue magazine with some of the most seductive shots ever seen of Sarah Jessica Parker. Stop it. You're not getting the most seductive shots ever of her. Not at all. It's not, you know, uh, I don't I, I don't get it. This is like a joke. They're not oh, a representation the, of what guys in New York find attractive. By the way, the picture that uh, where it says it's steaming up the June issue and the most seductive shot is Sarah Jessica Parker. It looks like she's in kind of a, a really nice hotel room. And she's pretty much, she's got her hands on the floor behind her. Yeah. And her legs spread in front of her, and they're, they're on the floor as well. Yeah. So she's holding herself up. 
and she's got some kind of like cocktail dress on, and uh, and Mr. Big there is in a chair with a video camera, and he's and he's shooting Sarah Jessica Parker, and it looks like he's shooting right for ground zero. Yeah, he's uh, got the camera pointed right there, doesn't he? Wow, that's Oof. hot, Oof. hot and steamy. <laughs>